Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Will. I'm starting a new batch of videos using Kima making sounds called Shukurchi plus Surch. That's making noise plus coffee. So I'm going to design a sound in tutorial fashion while drinking coffee. Just a cool little exercise. And then afterwards going to make a recording with the sound that I just made. So if you're in Kima, you'll be able to follow along step by step. If you're not, uh, you're in the wrong place, but Go ahead and follow along anyway. Let's get started. All right, so I'm here inside Kima, and I'm going to be using live input for this from my guitar. So I've got this just going straight into my interface, and we can see it coming in one down here in mono. And I had the thought to do some granular synthesis, granulating the live input. So let's start with that. I'll use a sample cloud. And I'm going to give the sample, which is going to be the live info my, from my guitar, which doesn't exist yet, this name. I'll leave the grain envelope Gaussian, that's fine for now. Amplitude, I'll leave that as the Capitalk event value amp, so we can change it with a fader. For the frequency, I'm going to have the opportunity to scale it. Freak jitter, yes please. Let's change this to frequency jitter, and I'm going to scale this so that the max value is 0.1 still audible but nothing super crazy for the random deviation around uh, the frequency time index this is the index into the sample up here i'm going to set zero which would be the middle of it but then make the jitter one so anywhere in the recording in the live input can come up density I'll leave grain duration, I'll leave, uh, and all these things, I'll leave the same as well. Pan in the center with the jitter, I'll make one so that a grain can go anywhere in the stereophonic field. And then interpolation linear so that I can have these uh, jitter, uh, frequency jitter come into play. And it's going to come from a memory writer. I'm going to make a few more changes to this, but for now, I'll leave that and go over to the memory writer, which is how I'm going to get my live input from my guitar. I'm going to record it into Pokerana RAM. So we're actually straight from the prototypes pretty close here already. I'm just going to change this to live. And then don't need to worry about the rest of that memory rider parameter fields silent i don't want to hear my guitar while recording it i'm gonna give this it's very important that this is the same name here because if it's not it won't work the way we want so i can drag it in there to be sure it's exactly the same capture duration for the length of the recording 10 seconds is a little lengthy. I'm going to say 4 seconds for now. Trigger 1 so that it's always on. Cyclic, yes, so it'll keep loop recording but erasing what was there beforehand. And simultaneous read because this is being read by this sound over here at the same time. Cool. And so now I can take this and drop it onto the plus sign and now I can get rid of this I've got my live input from my guitar here it's being written into the Pacarana RAM for four seconds cyclic simultaneous read let's double check these fields Cool, let's hear uh, what we got so far.
cool. It's taken form. It's not quite dense enough for me. I recently learned that if you're not replicating or scripting, you're in the wrong place. So let's grab the replicator and what I want to do is replicate this sample cloud. So I'm going to take it and drop it back over here. Cool. And so now it's coming in with all of its same parameter fields into the replicator. One thing I want to do now is give this seed field voice number so that the random number generator in each replication in the four copies has a different starting place so that the random jitter up here in these fields is not the same for each each copy cool so that should do it just giving a double check great let's see what happens i'll drag this back over here replace it and let's see how this is Great. Just going to dial some of this in to taste here. Remember, I'm scaling the rate of playback with these scales, so if I go in two to one ratios, I'm moving in octaves. Negative values will read through it backwards. So let's uh, let's call that good for now as a seed to a starting point for another sound design. Make this the default and let's make a little piece with this. <laughs> 